Please be working camera. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. That feels so weird to say. Honestly, I've been wanting to get on YouTube for about a year now um, and have actually been trying to get on YouTube for about the last month. But what happens is every single time I set up the camera or I try to get this going, I end up just freaking myself out and I get so nervous and then I watch like 50 YouTube videos and I think I'm never gonna be able to do that. But then I remember that if I'm gonna do this, I should probably just be me. I have got these new glasses though, which I absolutely love. I mean, they're lilac. Talk about aesthetic right now, on point. So I've been wondering what I should talk about for this first YouTube video. Uh, and I realized I probably can't spend like five minutes just talking about how scared I am to be filming or <laughs> like talking about my dogs. But I'm sure that will come in the future, the dogs, hopefully not the scared thing. So for now, I just thought we could dive right into a body positive topic and talk about the F word. So I'm pretty sure everyone watching this has been called fat at one point, regardless of what you actually look like. We've all been called fat whether it was on the playground when you were younger, or in the street from a complete stranger, or from an internet troll, or my personal favorite, when a guy is really into you, but then you turn him down, and then he calls you fat, even though you look exactly how you looked when he was into you before. Anyway, we have all been called fat as an insult. I used to think it was the most insulting thing in the entire world. When I first came into the body positive community, I was smaller than I am now, and I remember doing my first Don't Hate the Shape video and I was terrified about whether someone was gonna come along and call me fat. I was glued to my phone for three days straight, just refreshing, just waiting. And I had about 300 followers at the time. And I was just waiting for this first person to come along and call me fat. And, you know, of course they did. And at the time it absolutely destroyed me. I honestly just wanted to delete my account then and there. That one little word, Fat hurts so much. I just wanted to run away. I just wanted to never ever have anyone call me it ever again. But thankfully I didn't delete my account and now I get called fat probably every single day, multiple times. I still nowhere near as much as people in the body positive community with bodies bigger than mine get called, but enough. And these days it's really easy to brush off. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt anymore, it just pings right off. And actually now what I think when someone calls me fat is that they really could have tried harder at being a bit creative about it. Like, if you're gonna call someone fat, at least be original, throw in some metaphors, just make it a bit more interesting because, you know, we get this all the time in the body positive community, just spice it up a bit. So why does the word fat hurt so much? Why does it hurt so much to be called fat? It comes down to the fact that we live in a fat phobic culture that teaches us when we are still so young that being fat is the worst thing that you could be. I believed this by the time I was five years old. You know, five years was all the time that it took in the world for me to realize that fat was the worst thing that I could be and that I sure as hell better spend a lot of time and effort trying to not be fat. Because when someone calls us fat, they're not just describing our bodies. Our culture has taught us that fat means a million different negative things. Fat means ugly, fat means lazy, fat means unhealthy, fat means failure, fat means shame. So that when someone calls you fat, it feels like the worst insult in the entire world. I believed it too. I spent my whole life being terrified of being called fat. But then something interesting happened and I found the body positive community and suddenly I was surrounded by people calling themselves fat and they weren't doing it to insult themselves. They weren't putting themselves down. They were simply saying, I'm fat, so what? And this really shocked me and it made me really uncomfortable because at that point I literally couldn't even see the word fat written down without getting that hot, like prickly, uncomfortable shame build up in my body. And yet here were all these people calling themselves fat. And after listening to them and doing some reading and doing some research, I realized what they were doing was reclaiming the words that have been used in the past to bring them down. So what happens when we reclaim words is that we take them back we strip them of their negative meaning and we say, no, I get to redefine this now. I'm gonna redefine it for me and I'm not gonna let it be used against me anymore because it's not gonna mean anything negative anymore. So when you reclaim the word fat, you refuse to believe all the negative things that our culture has taught us that fat means. And you say, 
actually this is just a way to describe bodies. It's just a neutral descriptor to describe how some people look. Some people are fat, some people are thin, some people are muscular, and any other variation of those things all tied up into one. Calling someone fat should hold no more weight than calling someone tall, or calling someone blonde, or calling someone brunette. It is just a way to describe body types. And what's important is that these people weren't saying, I'm fat, but I'm beautiful, or I'm fat, but I'm valuable. They were saying, I'm fat and I'm beautiful. Those things can go together. They do not cancel each other out. You can be fat and beautiful. You can be fat and sexy. You can be fat and successful. And it took me a long time to get used to this. It took me a long time to get past my own discomfort about it. And if you're in the body positive community, you'll probably know that while some people have reclaimed the word fat and they use it all the time, there are still others who don't like it. And there are still other people who will say things like, oh no, no, you're not fat. You have fat, but you also have fingernails and you're not fingernails. Which, while technically true and grammatically correct, still implies that we shouldn't be calling ourselves fat because it's somehow negative. And what body positive and fat activists have been doing for decades now is removing the fear from fat. The fear of fat is really what underlines so many of our body image issues. No matter what size we are, we live in a culture that literally teaches us to be afraid of fat, any amount of fat. And like I said, teaches us that fat is the worst thing that a person can be. And you know what? That's just not true. Fat is not the worst thing that a person can be. Fat is not a bad thing for a person to be. There's actually this quote from JK Rowling and it says, is fat really the worst thing that a human being can be? Is fat worse than vindictive, jealous, shallow, vain, boring, or cruel? Not to me. So what I would love for us all to do is to just work on neutralizing the word fat making it just a neutral descriptor, making it no more loaded than tall or brunette or blue-eyed as a descriptor for how human bodies can look. And not just fat either. You can reclaim any of the words that have been used in the past to try and bring you down and you can say no. These aren't insults to me anymore. I'm taking them back. And with that, you take some of your power back. Go and find those fat babes on Instagram who are reclaiming the word, who are saying I'm fat and I'm fabulous. Do some reading. A brilliant first book about this is Fat So by Marilyn Wan. And it even has fat cut out dolls in it. And who doesn't love cut out dolls? Stop using the word fat like it's an insult. Stop saying it to other people like it's an insult. Stop saying it to yourself like it's an insult. Stop looking in the mirror and saying, oh, I'm so fat or I feel so fat. Mainly because fat is not a feeling. But stop saying it in a negative way. Either you're fat or you're not, but you're still wonderful exactly as you are, no matter what. The next time you're around someone who uses fat as an insult, why not question them? Why not say, why are you saying fat like it's a bad thing? Open up a conversation. Fun fact, as little as 150 years ago, fat was not considered a bad thing. Back then, being fat meant that you could afford enough food to eat, so you probably didn't have a bunch of diseases. And it's only really in the last 150 years that our culture has turned fat into this horrible thing. I think we should all make peace with the F word. And you know, it's not a magical cure for all of our body image issues, but it is a really great step to take in the journey to learning how to make peace with our bodies. And you know, at the very least, if we reclaim the word fat and make it not an insult anymore, internet trolls will have to think of more creative insults. Okay, well that's all I've got to say on the F word for now. I'm pretty sure when I turn the camera off, I'll probably think of 10 other things that I should have said, but that'll do. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll be back with more videos soon. Hit subscribe if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.